as a woman, it is, it is naturally, I assume, the best in women. I hate to say that, but it's true. I've realized that recently. I was talking to one of my play brothers, and I was like, no woman is doing that. And he fell out laughing. He was like, girl, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, and showed me his phone, and I was like, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. And I think the same is true with men, right? I think I've looked at a lot of podcasts and listened to advice, and it's not sound, because the one, the two, there are two things that aren't being considered. One, everyone doesn't have integrity. And two, there are a lot of award-winning actors out there that have never won an award. So when you're meeting people, you're meeting their representative. By the time you actually meet the person, that's usually when... I feel like this is going to be... A... Well, I didn't know I was going to have... Vetting, ladies. Vetting is everything. And I legit don't know whose grandma it is. But y'all can bash me. Y'all can come for me. Whatever y'all want to say. It makes zero sense for me to literally try to understand why this woman who looked like she's in her 40s or 50s have purple hair. Y'all can come for me, whatever. This is what we mean when y'all like self-awareness. It makes zero sense for this woman to be that old and she got purple hair in her head. Like, it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. That's a big part too. Uh, but all right, we back. So anyway, if you missed part one, you're going to have to hop over to the other one for story time. I'm talking about this wild date I went on. So anyway, we now are at the place on the date where it's the third date. We're running in the rain. We're trying to get back to the car. And I'm like, you know, I get to the car. He opens the door. I'm like, this is amazing. He's like, um, I'm going to take you back home. And I'm like, wonderful. And I think at that time, it was the nighttime. It was about 10 o'clock, right? Oh, maybe, maybe. Do I need the whole set? I don't know. Let me put the other one on. Let's see. Anyway, so he said, I'm going to take you back home. <clears throat> on the way home, though, on the way for him dropping me off to the house, he we we're having a wonderful conversation. And he says to me, you know, I could take you home or I could take you to the hotel. And I'm like... The hotel. Like, at what point? How do whoever you are, my guy, you are a sick person. Whoever you are, my guy, you are a sick person. It's unacceptable to take Barney to a hotel. You are a sick person. It's unacceptable for you to take Barney to a hotel. No teletub deserve to go to a hotel. It's unacceptable, my guy. Unacceptable. How do we get here? Right? How do we get here? And again, it was like the third date. Um, not that it would be okay on the fourth or the fifth, like we weren't there, you know, for me, I'm old school. We weren't in a relationship. Like I'm just getting to know you. And so I tell him, I'm like, wow, you know, where you're from, is this how you would treat the women, you know, where you're from? Cause he was from Senegal and he's like, well, no. And I was like, so what would make you think that going out to dinner for three times, you know, that now is the third time is the charm. Like it's, I'm confused. So he then starts backpedaling back, you know, going back and forth. And I just told him, I said, hey, why don't you drop me off at the next well-lit place so I can call an Uber because I never go on a date that I can't afford, period, and that I can't afford to pay for and Uber home. So I was like, yeah, that's a no for me. He's like, no, I'm going to take you home. Don't worry about it. So we get back to my house. I get out the car because at that point, like, I'm irritated. And he's trying to mansplain, like, trying to apologize. But apologize, like, you should, you, you know, what do you do? You knew exactly what you were doing. And so the next day he calls and again, you know, he's trying to apologize. And then he says to me, well, I guess it shouldn't matter that I have a wife in Senegal. And I'm blown. Like we used to work together. Like there was no mention of any of this. You're asking people out on dates as if you're a single man. So this this is throwing me. So then he says, I know I messed up last night, but do you think we could still do business together? And I'm like, business? What business did we even discuss? So then he starts talking about why well, I know you're well connected. You know, I, we're connected on LinkedIn and we could, even though this romantic piece didn't work out, we could still do business together. Gentlemen, this is why you want to pay attention to how you behave in scenarios. After a move like that, you can't possibly think that I would trust you to do any kind of business with you. You're not a gentleman. You don't have ethics. Same qualifications for the kinds of people I want to do business with. Wild. We need standard guys. We need standards. I know some of us have bad days and we will take what we could take, but we are not savages. 
we are not savages. We're not lions. We're not savages. We need standards. I know we all been there. We had a bad day. We say that one girl that we was like, eh, never. We were like, today's a, we need standard, guys. There's one thing to do it once or twice and let it go, guys. To be at the age where the man who took her out to be at and to still pursue a woman like this is unacceptable. Is unacceptable. This is not a young woman. This is not a young. She's literally got to be on her 40s or 50s. I don't know her age, but she got to be on her 40s or 50s. She got to be on her 40s or 50s. Got to be on her 40s or 50s. The hair throws me off. I don't know if she's going to some clown show. I don't know what's going on. We have we, we need standards, guys. We need standards. This is unacceptable. Like this is this is wild, wild. I I don't know, guys. I I don't know. I I don't I don't know. Like it's we give this women platforms. Like we when we, when you have conversation with some of these women, and she'll tell you that man gave me a chance. And you try to wonder, my guy, I know, I know we have slow days. I know we have slow days, but that is unacceptable. That is unacceptable. That is unacceptable. If you are ashamed to be seen with her because you're trying to take her to a hotel, you're trying to go somewhere hidden to go do what you got to do in private. That is unacceptable. It should she should never sit here and tell us there's these guys coming after me and stuff like that. Her standards should not be to the point that we look at her like because the first thing we'll question is like, who are these guys? And we will call her delusional. We will the craziest thing is that I always hear y'all say in the comment section, she's lying. She's lying. She's lying. And I really hope that I really hope y'all be telling me the truth and y'all be saying she's lying. I really hope that she's making this story up. I really hope that she got dressed up like this, put on all this makeup and did all this nonsense just to lie for TikTok. I really hope that's the case. I really hope that's the case. I really hope that's the case. Because if it's not, we need to have standard guys. It it it. It don't make no sense. Why why is her hair purple? It, it should be. <sighs> I don't even know, guys. I don't, man. Y'all. <sighs> Trying to take this to a hotel. What you going to do with this? Like. Yeah, all right, guys. All right. All right. All right.